Have you heard that definition of insanity? Could you be mad? Right, there's an internet meme that goes around, isn't there, saying the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I think it's been attributed to like Einstein and people like that. I thought I'd have a look at this and check it. Right, my partner Michelle, she's a psychologist. I thought I'd ask her what the real definition of insanity is and if it's this one. So I asked her, what's the definition of insanity, Michelle? And she said, living with you, which I thought was a bit unhelpful. So I pressed her a bit more and it turns out there's no real definition of insanity or there's no single definition of insanity. You know, there are many different ways to be insane or mad. And, and apparently none of them is doing the same shit over and over again and getting a different result. That's not being insane. It's a mistake to do it. And I think, but, but you know, or it's silly to do it, but it's not insane. So you're not mad, even if you do it, we all do it from time to time, I think. You're not mad, but you are making a mistake. You know, let's think about this in terms of business. You know, if you get all your marketing from word of mouth and you don't really do much, or you get all your business from word of mouth and you don't really do much marketing and you're finding it difficult to grow and you're subject to seasonal variations and you find yourself saying things like it's quiet in the industry at the moment, you're not going to grow. You shouldn't be surprised if you don't grow at the rate you want to. And if you want to grow faster, you're going to have to do some different marketing. You're going to have to do more aggressive marketing. You're going to have to spend more money. If you focus all your sales effort on rushing off and doing a quote when somebody asks you to, don't be surprised if a lot of your customers focus on your price. And if you want to have higher margins and charge a higher price, you need to change the way you do your sales and focus more on the value you bring and the goodness that you bring over and above just doing a job and, and, and labouring or fixing something or whatever. Right? And if your business runs and you do it the same old way and you have the same old behaviours and the same old habits, don't be surprised if it doesn't change and it doesn't get, get better. So I hate to say it because it is a cliche, but change starts with you. It starts with a single step. That might be calling me and getting a business coach, and it might not. Business coach is only one of the many choices available to you. But recognize that for the moment, you know. If you want a different business, if you want a different outcome, you're going to have to do different things on the way in. And I'd like to think that I can help you with that. And that that first step you should take is to get in touch with me and ask me how I can help. See ya.